there's this great little application called Padlet, um, which I use in most of my teaching. And it's a great way of kind of um, building up a portfolio of evidence or, a, you know, kind of portfolio of images or something like that. Um, there's application versions of it, or you can use it in a browser. And there's applications. This is on, on a Mac. Um, there's applications for Windows um, and for mobile phones and tablets and things like that. So Android and, and Apple. Um, so just click in here. Um, and this is in the this is in the browser you can see and basically what it allows you to do is just bring in loads of information lots of images it, you can put in links to YouTube um, and, and other websites you can do things like highlights um, you can change the color of the background and you can have a, a variety of settings as well it, like this is in a column a column kind of mode if you like and that allows you to have headings and things like that but you can also have like a grid and, and a timeline and, and, and different ways of doing it and things um, and, and so on. So you can see here kind of like if I just scroll along, it, you, it's pretty much endless. You can have as much information in there as you want. It's just brilliant for putting together all your evidence of what you've learned on a course. And then that can be used for assessments and things like that. And so I'm just going to come out of here. I'm just going to go into the um, into the application. So this is on a on a Mac. So this is a Mac application. This is roughly kind of what you'll have um, when you first go into the application. Um, you can see here I've got kind of one my one kind of uh, Padlet there already set up. If we just come back out of there, so I'm just going to go up to the top right corner here, click on Make a Padlet, and then you get this kind of selection of different things, and you can ch change this afterwards as well. Um, so there's kind of different ways that you can do it and it's worth having to play with these just to see what it's like. Um, wall is basically just like a, a, a grid of just um, things that are kind of put in, in in the order that you put them in and just um, as we used to see on, on a kind of a variety of websites and things, things like Tumblr, a bit like that. Um, same with the grid but everything's kind of um, the same size so it's nice and kind of uh, uh, kind of smart stream is just one single kind of post one on top of the other a bit like Instagram um, shelf I find this particularly useful this is the one that's showing you with the columns that has the titles on the top um, so I'm just gonna um, I'm just gonna select this for the moment and then it comes up with kind of like your kind of your toolbar if you like for editing so you know, so I can go through and just um, change some of these basic things. Um, it comes up with these strange descriptions. Um, so I'm just going to put that in this portfolio. You can have an icon if you want. You can choose like an emoji type thing or or, or whatever. Um, address. So at the moment, you can see it's kind of like this randomly created number uh, series of numbers and letters. What's really nice to do is to change that to something worthwhile. So, um, so, so you can't use dashes and things. You got to use an underscore. So, that's now Padlet.com Simon Green Photography slash Padlet underscore portfolio. So that makes it much easier to kind of share that share that link then. Um, wallpaper. So basically, you can pick the color of the background. Um, and you can use a photograph on the background all sorts of things color scheme that's like a dark or a light you can change the font um, just a kind of basic selection and then you've got uh, like these things here which are, uh, are about kind of if you you can use Padlet as a um, collaborative thing as well where other people can post on it um, uh, as it's just this is just going to be a Padlet for me for my portfolio whatever if you want I'm just going to take out um, just leave that switched off the attribution not have the name over every post but if you were having lots of people kind of submitting stuff to here you could like leave that switched on and that would show their their name on the post um, new post position so this is whether it, it the, the latest post ends up at the top or the bottom so I'll leave that on last comments allow viewers to comment on posts I'm not going to do that for this one I'm just gonna leave it as it is and you can have reactions as well so you can like people can vote on it or like it or something likes quite good because um, it's, it's kind of like 
you just click it there's no like rating system or anything like that um, content filtering so you can filter profanity so if people decide they want to swear it'll take them out um, and require approval so like it, it just helps to stop spam if you have to check every comment that comes on here make sure that it, you know nobody's on there that shouldn't be and then basically so that's just the basic settings and we're just going to click through to next and click on start posting so I'm just going to call this one add another section okay so I'm just going to pull an image off my desktop here and ask me which section I want to put it in Um, and you can see there that the it's gradually loading up does this little thing where it's gradually loading the image up and you can see that's that's that now there I can add a caption I can add a bit of text I can change the background here to whatever color I want Again, can change the section if I want to, so put and change to two and click publish, and there you go. Now, the great thing about um, this is the way that everything's kind of laid out. So, if I click on the picture, it brings up just the picture, just like that, and it will have the text of the post here, which is great. And there's a cross up there. Um, and then I, if I click on edit that will take me back into the post so that I can edit the text and everything that's in the post and so it's it's, it's fairly simple to use um, so if I go here and you can see here so we've got like that's just to upload whatever that's to take a photograph through the phone or whatever the, the computer that you're using it on um, link this is if you want to add a link so you click on link and you just paste in the link that you want to, to link to um, images so this allows you to search for images and stuff by just pasting in a url so you've got a, like a video on youtube you can just paste the url in and then this is a whole bunch of other stuff so for example if you aren't great at writing or you don't like particularly want to write stuff you can always use the audio recorder and again this is absolutely great if you're if you kind of want to to kind of talk in a bit more depth about the images that you're kind of um, putting up on here um, and have that kind of personal touch um, uh, again it's great for, for if you want to put notes on there and write, write it's also got a screen recorder if you wanted to do a little bit of a video just to kind of talk about um, uh, kind of something that you're, you, you're doing you know and demonstrate something and then it's got a video recorder if you want to kind of t you know kind of do show um, kind of show you talking about your, your images or something like that and then things like location web search you can add links to Spotify and all sorts of all sorts of other things on there and there's more and more websites and things that are, have got kind of a direct uh, kind of embedding system with um, with Padlet as well um, so you've got a couple of things up here so this is just about if somebody sends you a link or something like that you can just favorite it and it saves it in a favorites folder so like that bookmark added remake is if you wanted to copy um, this Padlet so that then you can edit it and use it for something else um, so share this is a really important one so this is if you want to share it with somebody so at the moment it's a secret um, so this this means that nobody can see it unless you send them the link um, for anything kind of uh, to do with assessments and stuff with, with anything I'm teaching it'll need to be put onto public so that I can actually see what's going on and just change that to can read and then that will just make sure that um, nothing can be edited, but I can kind of I can look at it and see what's going on, and any of the assessment team can see see those things. Um, get QR code. You can make a QR code that you can send to people. You can get people to scan. Um, say you're doing a presentation or something like that of your work. You can bring this up on the board, and then everybody can scan it with their phones, and um, that will link straight to the Padlet. Um, you can embed it if you've got a blog or something like that you can email it and all of those other things as well one of the other great things about Padlet is is that when you get to the end of this and you've got a whole load of information on here you can save it as a couple of different formats 
Um, save as, as an image is okay if you've not got too much on there, um, but it can be quite, it can make quite a huge image. Save as PDFs are really uh, useful because if you save it as a PDF, um, I'll just click on pu publish PDF, shouldn't take too long with this. And then what that does, that gives you a PDF with all of your information in formatted like this, so it'll have all the text down one side, all your images embedded in the page. So that's pretty much Padlet. And like I say, you can see from this one here, it's got massive amounts of information in. Um, and this is just um, just kind of a, a really good example of what you can actually do with it. Um, you can see I've got kind of um, loads of images, loads of text in there. I can use things like highlighting if I just select, select the text when I'm edit, editing it. So for edit, you can kind of see, you can highlight and add links and things like that. As you've just seen there, you can kind of um, drag and drop as well, which is really, really useful. That just means you can organize things really, really easily. So it's a really powerful little application and just makes putting um, that kind of uh, your evidence of learning together really, really easily. Um, and I'd suggest that on any of the courses that I do, the best way to approach this is just, you know, every week after after um, the lessons or, you know, uh, is is upload stuff to it, upload some of the images that you've shot during the week, um, upload some of the information that you've loaded and just do it a little bit at a time, just keep adding to this. You, you will always have a resource to come back to, to kind of remind you of anything that you're kind of not sure of. Um, and like I say, it's just a great place to build a portfolio of images as well. Um, and like I say, you'll, you'll have um, three of these Padlet kind of pages initially. Um, if you sign up um, through the link uh, that, that I'll share on this video, you can add another, another one as well. And that just gives you kind of these um, extra pages that you can use for setting up a portfolio, a, a test portfolio and other things like that. Okay, so I hope that's been um, of, of help. Like I say, it's, it's quite intuitive, but it, it can take a little, little while just to get, get used to using it. Okay, thank you very much.